Hi, this is David from Minute Earth, and this is the evolutionary tree of mammals, birds, and reptiles, the animals collectively known as the amniotes. And these are their penises. As you can see, these sperm delivery devices are incredibly diverse, from the snake with its hemipenes, to the lake duck with its giant corkscrew, to the echidna with its four-headed organ. This incredible diversity, combined with the fact that many other amniotes don't have any penises at all, raises a big question. Okay, you probably have several questions, but to evolutionary biologists, the most pressing question is, did the amniote penis arise multiple times, or did it arise just once? The first possibility is known as convergent evolution. This cornucopia of copulatory contraptions may have arisen independently in different branches of the tree. Just like how protective prickly protrusions evolved independently in several small, tasty, and not particularly closely related animals. The other possibility, though, is that amniote penises arose only once. Just like how all primates' tails have a single origin, despite their diversity and despite the fact that some primates are completely tailless. So, are penises the result of convergent evolution, or do they have a common origin? Our first clue is that even tailless primates, like humans, briefly grow a tail in the womb, which then gets dissolved and disappears. So if all of these diverse penises had a common genesis, all amniotes, even birds and tuataras, should have some version of a penis when they're embryos, even if they lose it later. And it turns out that the embryos from penisless birds do have penis nubs, which recede before hatching. For a long time, though, the ancient reptiles known as tuataras remained a mystery. They also don't have penises, but since they're highly protected, no one is allowed to collect their eggs for research, and scientists couldn't check their embryos for penis nubs. Then, recently, scientists in a museum came across long-lost, decades-old slides of embryonic tuataras. And when they put them under the microscope, there it was, an embryonic penis nub. That nub was powerful proof of a common penis genesis in amniotes. One ancestor passed along to all of us the same penis-building blueprint. From there, some animals forfeited their phalluses, while others took the basic plan and fleshed it out. This video is based in part on the new book, Fallacy, Life Lessons from the Animal Penis.